everybody, my name is RTS and welcome back to Bendy and Ink Machine. Today, I'm going to show you how to collect all 11 achievements in the game. Let's begin. We're gonna start with the achievements that give the least XP. And the first one is pretty easy to do. All you have to do is collect all of the items. Oh, and of course, if you're playing not Steam but Game Shell version, you'll need to sign in manually. And it'll be good to go. Let's do it. Beep. There you are. Can't hide from me. Haha. -ha. Got you. And if you do this, you'll get a first achievement in the game. And 5 HP. What? And 5 XP. And speaking of XP, you can get up to 120 as of now. You can get the second achievement by falling through the floor. Just like so. Yep. I mean, you might have broken your legs, but uh, at least you got an achievement. Good. The third one is pretty easy to get. It's just follow the story. You have to solve this puzzle. And a little tip for you guys. Make sure you turn on the projector before doing so. Because otherwise you'll be wasting a lot of time. So if we go banjo banjo, piano, and bass, we should have it solved. There we go. Now to get this one, you have to go to the very end of the chapter 2. And of course, not many people succeed, but you have to get away from Bendy. He's a fun guy. Just, just run away from him. You stay there, buddy. You can get the fifth achievement by turning on this radio right here. Listen to some good tunes. You can always open this door after you check the power lever. The light should switch off and you should be able to get in. And this one gives you 10 XP. The next radio achievement, which you can get, is right in the room where it says pump control. You go to the stable right here and just turn on the radio. There you go. You got the achievement for touching things when you don't need to. But it's a cool tune though. I heard it a hundred times and I still like it. And now, the seventh achievement. If you take this door and go to the organ, you're gonna notice that you can interact with it. And if you play it five times, you'll get an achievement called Johnny's Broken Heart. And there you go. This is how you get an achievement number seven. You can get the eighth achievement by going to the secret Meatly Room. When you press down the lever, you go to the Boris room and try to go through the wall which has a Boris poster on it. Bleep. Hello. What the heck is this? And now, you should have the AF achievement, which gives you 15 XP. And now this one is very similar to the previous one. Whenever you pull the lever, you go back into this room right here, and there is another wall again with a Boris poster on it. And if you try to go through it, there we go. The There's a the bendy guy again. The tenth achievement you can get. You need to have all the bendies in their places. And to do that, as we like to call it, clone bendies, you need to turn on the projector, go back down to the stage, wait until it turns off, get back and do the same thing until you have nine bendies. And here we go. If you have all of them bendies down, you will get an achievement. It should take like up to four minutes to complete, but um, it gives you 20 XP. And now, the very last achievement you can get, and probably the one that takes the longest to get, is a Canadian bacon. What you have to do to get it, is you have to collect every single can of soup in chapter 2. The very last bacon soup can is right here, and if you take it, you should claim your achievement. And here we go! You have all of the achievements. Now you have them bragging rights. You can brag to your friends all day long. If you want to see more how to get achievements when chapter 3 comes out, leave a like on this video. But thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. I've broken something. <laughs> we can play the song. Okay, Before we're done. Funny. Hello, Bendy Boo. How are you feeling? I want to see if they still respond. They do. <laughs>